Mazuma boxing back with another video. All right, guys. Uh, says I haven't been really talking on this situation between Keith Thurman and Sean Porter. That's coming up this weekend, June 25th at the Barclays. You know, this is going to be a really intriguing fight. In my opinion, this will be the fight that determines who is the best welterweight in the division. Um, you know, although Kel Brook has beaten Sean Porter, uh, he hasn't really been stepping up in opposition since he had faced Sean Porter. And thus, uh, I feel like Sean Porter has proven more, bounced back, um, and has fought has fought in more uh, solid opposition than Kell Brook, uh, being Malinaji, which he had fought before Kell Brook, and uh, Adrian Broner, Bonet, so on. Um, I'd rather take those over at JoJo Dan or, you know, Busy Air, you know, all that other shit. But anyway, um, I believe this will be, and no disrespect to Danny Garcia as well, but uh, I feel like he hasn't, uh, done enough in the welterweight division although he has a wbc belt i feel like he hasn't done enough to be crowned the king of 147 um will he be able to grab that crown i mean he's absolutely like he's capable of doing it i'm not saying that uh he isn't capable but as of right now i believe this fight is going to determine who's the best at 147 considering mayweather's retirement okay uh this right here is going to be my fight prediction I I've done some like hev like heavy thinking about this, um, cause you know one day I'll be thinking, yeah man, this is this is a uh, this is a uh, definitely this is definitely in the bag for Keith Thurman, and then uh I'll get to thinking, and be like, damn, but Sean Porter man, that that boy, that boy he 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 might give him the works. So, while all this uh back and forth, uh discussion going on in my head with the people that I've spoken to about boxing and considering all the fights that I have watched since then from both of these guys I'm gonna have to take Keith Thurman in this situation um, as you watch Sean Porter's fights um, what he likes to do is he likes to smother his opponents uh, so they won't be able to uh, so they won't be able to get uh, clean punches on him uh, and he'll like to throw. He'll throw like a couple. He'll throw a lot to the body. Throw a couple to the head, and pretty much outwork you. And um, what? Yeah, he, he'll he'll like to outwork you and outpoint you and knock you out if he can. A uh, very aggressive guy. But I feel like, as I watch Sean Porter, and I watch the sparring between him and Keith Thurman, it seems like his style hasn't much developed since. Uh, Sean Porter. I had seen an interview he had done where he admitted that his style hasn't really much changed since the amateurs. And uh, being how old he is, it's going to be really hard uh, to change his style between like a six to eight week training camp. I really don't see that happening. So I'm assuming he has some boxing ability. I've seen it in the exhibition fight, but like really who was that guy that he was boxing? Um, not discrediting the guy, but um, I'm pretty sure Sean Porter isn't the only guy who will be able to outbox that guy. Um, he has shown some boxing ability, but we all know what Sean Porter is going to bring to the table that night. Um, although Ken Porter is saying that they brought multiple, they have multiple game plans coming into the fight. Uh, uh I, we already know what Sean Porter is going to try to do. He's going to try to attack Keith Thurman's body because he had, because he believes that, uh, he had, he has seen like a blueprint on how to hurt Keith Thurman. But what a lot of people don't know is Keith Thurman has been hurt with a head shot and a body shot. Um, so, you know, Sean Porter has multiple ways he can approach this fight, whether he wants to take it to the he wants to take it to the head or the body. But I believe that uh Sean Porter's aggressiveness and how the way he comes in reckless during his fights is gonna cost him in this fight. You know, Sean Porter Sean, I mean Sean Porter. Keith Thurman is a real powerful puncher, and he has shown, like in the Leonard Bundu fight, he's, he, he has shown that he is able to punch on on uh, several kinds of angles. The man can box, powerful jab, straight right hand, beautiful uppercut. Um, the man is the goods. He has uh, he he varies up, he varies his combinations, and it's a beautiful thing. It's like watching uh, sort of like watching Canelo how the way he's able to uh, mix up his combinations with power. And precision 
And um, I believe when Sean Porter comes in to try to uh, get into Keith Thurman, get on the inside with Keith Thurman, which uh, I believe that Keith Thurman would like to avoid in this fight, I think that because Sean Porter's defense isn't that, like, solid, I believe he will get caught with some punches, and I believe he will be hurt. Um, I got Keith Thurman. Uh, man, it's hard to say because we never seen, you know, we haven't seen Sean Porter really get knocked out. But I can see a late stoppage happening. Um, I, can, I don't see Sean Porter going out early in the fight. The man is in shape. The man is well-conditioned. And I don't believe, I think that his body will, if he takes a beating, I think his body will endure that for a longer period of time than the average person. The man works hard. And, uh, you know, I think he will take uh, Keith Thurman's punches well in the beginning. But I believe that the power will uh, come out on top in this fight. And... I believe Keith Thurman will get a late stoppage. I believe like this. I call it between the eighth and the ninth round. Uh, Keith Thurman's punish the punishment that Keith Thurman is going to deliver is going to wear down on Sean Porter, similar to how Robert Guerrero uh, ended up dropping. Even though he didn't, he did he didn't get knocked out, but he did get dropped. I believe there will somebody will get knocked down. I don't believe it will be Keith Thurman, but that's just me. That's my personal opinion. That's who I have winning. Um, I know this is like a highly debated topic because uh, how how much of a 50-50 fight this is. Let the best man win. And I hope you guys will enjoy the fight like I will. This is my prediction on the fight. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is Mazuma Boxing, and we out of here.